Hi again, welcome back. This is how we spent four days and three nights in Italy. I'm a die to the army. Yeah, we down better get rid of the devil's army. Used to live life like a zombie. I don't know the future, but he said keep walking. I'm a die to the army. Yeah, we down better get rid of the devil's army. Used to live life like a zombie. I don't know the future, but he said keep walking. I'm a die to the army. Yeah, we down better get rid of the devil's army. Live life like a zombie. I don't know the future, but he said keep walking. I'ma die to the army. Yeah, we down bad to get rid of the devil's army. Used to live life like a zombie. I don't know the future, but he said keep walking. Alright guys, of course it is hot here. <laughs> We've just arrived in Milan. <laughs> it seems quite deserted because we we got the bus and now we're lost. <laughs> We got, went the wrong way. <laughs> we went the wrong way. We don't know where we are. We're waiting for the bus driver to come back. He told us to just wait on the other he side. Was rude, man. <laughs> he hated me. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He didn't enjoy that interaction. But it is very, very hot here. Our journey to our Airbnb is a long one because we have to go to Como, which is like an hour away, and then we have to get a boat from Como to Menagio, and then we meet the airbnb people at the office and they're going to take us to our airbnb because it's in the mountains um but yeah right now we're basically still at the airport but somewhere we don't really know where but yeah we'll keep you guys posted it's looking like our eta at the airbnb is around 5 5 30 6 p.m ish um depends if, we get depends if we actually get picked up from here or not we'll catch up in a bit <laughs> Okay, so our journey turned out to be a tiny bit more complicated, but it was still so fun. We got the bus back to the right terminal, which actually turned out to be exactly where we started from. And then we got the train, made one stop at Serrano before arriving in Como. And then we had to get a taxi all the way to the Airbnb because the ferry timings just didn't work 100%, but we made it in the end. I'm a shop where I live. I know I look so bummy right now. It's a joke. It's, what time is it? It's so late. 7. 7 p.m. We literally got here maybe 20 minutes ago. I can't believe the lengths that we've had to go to to find this place. It wasn't hard to find, but it was just long to get to, but this view, it's 100% worth it. I cannot believe it. Ben, what do you think? This is amazing. It's amazing. I've never stayed anywhere like this before. <laughs> this is quality. The view is just unreal. It's so amazing. <laughs> I'll have all the links to everywhere we go and everywhere we stay in the description. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, I'm gonna get less bummy and go enjoy the pool for a bit. We'll catch up in a bit. All right, guys, this is my, excuse the echo, I'm in the bathroom, but this is my little dinner fit. Um, I didn't have time to like properly do my hair. So I've just kept it in the claw clip. Got this oh, yellow, what? That's memory So? Ben, at least we have a bed. <laughs> this yellow sweater vest is thrifted, just a plain white tee and then plain white linen trousers underneath. But yeah. Also, my shoes. If you hear noise, it's because the doors are open. I mean, how can we keep them closed with this view? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, my shoes. The shoes are from M&S. And then I've got this nice little tote bag. But yeah. <laughs> So this was obviously our first night and I had read something online which said that everyone in Italy eats really late. So we rocked up close to 10 p.m. and everywhere was closed. But luckily this place, they gave us essentially their last seat. They didn't let anyone else come in after us and the food was amazing. So shout out to them.
All right, guys, good morning again. My hair isn't gonna stay like this before anyone judges me. It is 8.40, not too bad. We're gonna get some breakfast. Um, these views are just so amazing, I can't believe it. But yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast, see some sights. Uh, we wanna go to the supermarket and get a bunch of like snacks and breakfast food. Oh my gosh, it's really loud outside, but I'm not mad at it. But okay, I'm basically ready, I just need to brush my hair out. And then we'll be on our way. Stunning is this place. I was lost for words. We got breakfast right on the lake. We didn't make any reservation, we just rocked up. Everyone was so kind. I will say that they had a very limited menu this day, but we still enjoyed so much. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 11.30. We've just finished breakfast. Um, we breakfast. had like yeah, I had apple juice, then had water, sparkling. Oh, uh, I ordered still. He ordered still, but he had sparkling by accident. And then we had these like toasties. I thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, it was really nice. Didn't even say yesterday for dinner. That was my first time having like a proper authentic Italian pizza. And I loved it so much. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> we're just walking. Yeah, it's quite loud, but we're just walking. We're just walking around now before before we get the bus to go see our wedding venue. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my dream wedding venue. So I've seen it so much on Pinterest and all that. Like. Yeah, I just really want to go see it. So that is the plan. It's very loud, so we're gonna keep going. This is the first time I've seen Ben properly, like really <laughs> excited about something. We got to the Airbnb and he was literally jumping for joy. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? But yeah, so far, so very good. Oh. First up is Villa del Balbiano, my dream wedding venue. I don't even want to talk too much about it. I feel like I should just let it speak for itself. Telling me, telling me it's not me to be right, even though it feels like it should. I'm giving up all of my girls for good. And even though I know it's too late, I'll never get Guys, how beautiful is this place? So we took the bus all the way from Menaggio to Leno. It wasn't actually that long. This, what you're looking at now, is Villa del Balbianello. Very similar name, but very different villa. This one you can go in and explore. The other one you can't, but equally as stunning. Oh, obsessed. Guys, it is later on in the day. Just made a quick stop over at the supermarket. Got so much, literally so much. It was like 56 euros, but we're having a nice, you know, breakfast platter in the morning. We're back in the Airbnb now. We've got our goods from the supermarket. This was such a struggle. I say that, but I didn't even carry it. Ben carried it all. We have some stuff here as well. But yeah, we're gonna unpack this stuff really quickly and then go to the pool because we are sweating. <laughs> Okay, after we chilled by the pool for a bit, we headed to dinner. This place was actually a bit closer to our Airbnb. We didn't have to go all the way down into the main town, which is why we have these amazing views of the whole lake. The vibes here were 10 out of 10, and of course we ordered pizza. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is currently 9.45. It is birthday. it's my birthday, May 29th. I'm officially 23 years old. Um, I'm waiting for Ben to help me tie up. Happy birthday. Um, so today we're going on a boat ride. It's quite cloudy at the moment. It's gonna clear up later on in the day, so not too stressed. Our boat ride is at um, 1.30 to 3.30. We've got a private boat. Okay, Ben, let me no, just do no, it no. myself. I'm sorry. You talk. But yeah, that's the plan. So we're gonna leave the Airbnb um, ASAP. I'm just finishing getting ready. I'm not a dress expert, all right? I'm just gonna do it. No, look. That's not tight, that's Ben. A there you go. There you go. 
Really nice, thank you. <laughs> You're not acting now. No, I am. I appreciate it, thank you. We're staying in Menagio, which by the way, all the links for our Airbnbs and right. everything we're doing will be in the description. So check there. A thousand percent recommend. It's oh, great. so, so, so good. So we're staying in Menagio. It's like in the middle of the lake, essentially. So we're gonna go back down to Como, which will be like an hour and a half or so by bus. It might be a bit quicker because the bus tends yeah, to skip of a bunch of stops. So Como is where you'll get off the train if you're traveling from Milan. So we're gonna go back down to there and that's like the main town, I guess, where they've got like all of the museums and stuff to do there. Um, but we were after a more like chill getaway. Yeah, yeah that's really nice, thank yeah. you. It looks good. We'll see. <laughs> then as... Just try. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go back down there um, we'll probably get there around midday, so we'll walk around, see some stuff, have some food before our boat ride at 1.30. That's the plan anyway. The boats aren't as easy to navigate yeah. as people make it seem. The like, bus is quite easy. The bus is alright, the bus is quite easy, but people are like, oh, just get the boat taxis everywhere. <laughs> no, but they like, right. they're like once every two hours or something, <laughs> but it, or, I think it just depends. fully booked. Yeah, 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 all fully booked. But um, I think it just depends on where you start. Um, I, I guess if you're in Como, it's like super frequent and like because that's like the most connected place But it's just really busy there queues out the door of like every restaurant, but up here. It's so perfect It's it's touristy, but it's not like overpopulated. So highly recommend Menagio. Yeah, anyway, I'm talking too much Let's go Okay, so after getting the bus back down to Como, we decided to get lunch quickly before heading to our boat ride. This place was probably my favorite restaurant that we went to, just in terms of the service. They were so friendly in here. Obviously, we got pizza again, so the food is always going to be amazing. But honestly, 10 out of 10 easily. We absolutely loved it. Yeah, baby, the way you move and the way you shine. All right guys, it is 1.22. We are just waiting now to do our boat ride. The weather has cleared up so much. It's honestly so fine right now. We're still in our jumpers, but I'm gonna take them off when we get on the boat. We've just had lunch, really nice. We had pizza again. I've literally only had pizza Same. since coming here. Um, as we should though, it's as like we should. When in Italy, iconic, eh? it's amazing. But yeah, we're gonna do this boat ride. It's gonna be two hours, so excited. Um, yeah. I'm not even exaggerating when I say this experience is probably one of the best I've had in my life. It was so great. Roberto was such an amazing host. We learned so much about the history of Lake Como. We laughed, we played music. It was the best way to celebrate turning 23. Dead man's party. All right, guys. We, I don't know if you can hear us, but we are on the bus. We are just about to get back to Benagio, where we're gonna try to find something for dinner. It's like 5, 5.15, it's a bit early, but it's so fine. We're probably gonna actually start eating maybe around like 5, 5.6. But yeah, the boat ride was so amazing. Honestly, I would highly recommend. It's it's just so worth it. Roberto. Roberto. If you're watching this, you're an absolute legend. Honestly, he was amazing. I'll leave all the info in the description. Amazing vibes. He was playing music. Honestly, it felt like we were in a movie. It was so good. But yeah, we're gonna get off the bus soon, um, take a few pictures probably, and then head to dinner. But so far, so good. Um, we have to check out of our hotel, of our Airbnb tomorrow. But it's fine because we're gonna spend the day in Milan before flying back. And it's fine because we're coming back next month. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, next month. We're coming back, definitely. Soon. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we'll catch up in a bit. After we got back to Menagio, we had dinner straight away. This place, I would say that the portions were a bit small, so we did get two mains, but still really good nonetheless. Of course, we had to get a pizza afterwards, don't worry. The pasta was great too. <laughs> 
We're just about to get to our Airbnb. We had dinner, it was so nice. We've just been walking quite slowly up this, uh, up the mountain to get back up to where our Airbnb is. Such a nice walk. It's like through the woodlands and stuff. It's just very nice, very peaceful. It's really quiet up here. It's been so nice to just relax. We're gonna chill for a bit before heading to bed and then getting up tomorrow bright and early to leave. <laughs> But we still have the whole day ahead of us because our flight isn't until like 9 p.m., 9, 10 p.m. So no frets. Roberto, who was giving our tour, oh, was amazing. Yeah, Ben's in love with him. <laughs> he is. <laughs> He's coming to the wedding. He is. He is. This is just such a beautiful place, honestly. I'm loving it so much. This he, is the... he made me laugh so much. I know, yeah, yeah same. He's proper Italian. He said that um, my ex was George Clooney. <laughs> we saw so many different villas. We saw George Clooney's villa, where Barack Obama stays. The house of Gucci. And the way it looks so nice is because the sun's 45 degree angle. Yeah, yeah. Straight down, so yeah. it So that's why it shines off. Yeah, so that's why it like glistens like diamonds. Mm -hmm. Because thank of the sun. Thank you for coming to our TED talk. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good morning, guys. It is our last day in Italy. It's about to be 8.15 a.m. We need to leave our Airbnb, go check out, go to the office, drop off our keys, get on a bus to Como, and then get on a train from Como to Milan. We get to Milan around 12.15, like just after midday. So then we have the whole afternoon in Milan and we have to leave Milan to go to the Malpensa airport at like 6.30. So we've got like a good six hours in Milan, which is so great. But yeah, time to go. One thing I'll say about the trains in Milan, they take the time on your ticket so seriously, so book the correct time. <laughs> We're on the train, it's 11.13, it leaves at 11.16. Um, they're every hour on the hour, so the next one would be 12.16. So bear that in mind when you're planning your trips. We want to go to like obviously the iconic cathedrals and stuff like that, but we're going to eat lunch first because we haven't actually had a proper breakfast yet. So we'll have lunch and then we've just quickly booked a viewpoint. Piazza, Piazza. del Duomo. I think I just remember that for talking about <laughs> Thanks so much. And then I want to go to like the big shopping center next door with like the iconic you know, you know what I'm talking about, you'll see. But yeah, I'm so unbelievably sad to be leaving Kono. Once we're in Milan, we'll catch up, so yeah. Okay, so if you remember when we went to Budapest, we used stow your bags to stow our luggage. They have one here in Milan, so we used that again before heading to lunch. We found this super cute pizzeria. Of course, we went for pizza again. It shouldn't be a surprise at this point. That bruschetta was amazing, by the way. And then it was time to check out some of the sites. We headed over to the famous Duomo di Milano. This is the huge cathedral. It's so gorgeous, and the view from the top is even better. You can book these in advance, and you can choose to either get the stairs or take the lift. We we walked and it actually wasn't too bad so i'd highly recommend and that was 11 euros to walk up Prince Charming, smile, in fact, you show up and then we headed over to the famous shopping center the galleria vittorio emmanuel i really hope i said that right but it was so beautiful inside and then we basically just chilled walked around for the rest of the afternoon before heading to the airport And just like that, we're back in London. Yeah, that trip went by so fast, but I just thought I'd do a quick little outro because I don't think I properly ended the video back in Italy. We didn't really do much in Milan. I think next time we go to Lake Como, we will bypass Milan and like not really spend time there. It's a good place to go if you want to shop. Oh, to be fair, we did go into some really cool shops and I found so much inspiration for my autumn winter wardrobe. But yeah, that's basically it. We got home, the trip was absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to go back in the future i hope you enjoyed this vlog let me know what your favorite part was in the comments mine was definitely the boat ride i can't stop thinking about it i think ben's is the boat ride too yeah we're gonna end it here 
I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn my notifications on so you don't miss any videos. All my social media links will be in the description below, so feel free to follow me. But yeah, I'm gonna go now, but I'll see you next time. So bye. bye.